welcome back my viewers today we'll be discussing this particular question and this is under trigonometry when you look at this diagram it looks somehow freakish but it's a very simple thing to solve okay we are asked to find the value of a and b how do we go about this first of all you need to know the three basic um trigonometric ratios which are sine cos and tan okay sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse your cos theta is equal to adjacent over what hypotenuse and your tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent so because of this there is this acronym that we use or that you can use to remember these ratios which are what which is what so ka soa all right so this is actually this sign opposite over hypotenuse which is what i've already stated then cos is what adjacent over hypotenuse i've written that and tan is what opposite over adjacent okay now what is the opposite which side of the angle is the opposite which side of the triangle sorry is the opposite the hypotenuse and the adjacent so let me introduce that to you specifically okay let me just leave this if you have a right angle triangle, okay, then your right angle, okay, the longest side is always your hypotenuse, okay, it's always the longest side, or you say the side that is following, that is facing your hype, uh, that is facing your what, your right angle. Then if this is your angle, the angle of reference, then the side opposite that angle is your opposite. Okay, that means this side facing your angle is your opposite. The remaining side is your adjacent. The remaining side is your adjacent. But note that opposite and adjacent don't have a particular position. No, their position changes with the position of the angle. What do I mean? Notice that because this is the side facing our angle here, that means that this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent. Now, watch what happens if I change the position of this angle. You will notice that your opposite and adjacent will also change as well. That means if this is your right angle triangle and this is it, your hypotenuse remains the same. It's always the longest side and the side that faces your what? Your right angle. Now, if I should decide that this is my angle of reference now, if this is the position of my angle, that means that this side facing it becomes my opposite and the remaining side becomes my adjacent. Can you see that? So your opposite and your adjacent don't really have a particular base or a particular position assigned to them. They, they change with regards to what? The position of your angle. All right, this is just an introduction to what we are about to see here. So we are going to use this knowledge that we just got from here to relate to what we have on the board. So look at the board very well and you are notice that we are asked to find A. Okay, to find A, this A now, I'm going to do something. I'm going to neglect this line here, okay? And I'll concentrate on angle A, B, C. I'm going to concentrate on triangle A, B, C, okay? So if I should draw this triangle A, B, C out, it's going to look like this. This is our A, this is our B, this is our C. I'm going to neglect this line, okay? This is the A we are looking for. This is what, 25 degrees. And this is 70 meters. All right. To find this A is actually very easy. This is A. To find it is very easy. So if we should, uh, if, if we should bring out the parameters we have here, remember what I explained initially. It means that our hypotenuse, which is the longest side, and the side facing our angle is what? Our right angle is 70 meters. So our hypotenuse is equal to 70 meters. Then our opposite is the, the side facing the angle, right? This angle of reference, this is it. That means our opposite is A. That means opposite is equal to A. And our theta is what? 25 degrees. Now, these are the three things we have right now. These are the three things we have right now. So if we need to solve for our theta right now, sorry, if we need to solve for our A, we are going to relate opposite to hypotenuse this is opposite and this is hypotenuse these are the sides that you need to relate relate the side you are looking for to the side that is given so opposite over hypotenuse remember our so so 
ka soa. Okay, so it means that sine is what opposite over what hypotenuse. So notice that it is this sign that connects opposite to hypotenuse, opposite and hypotenuse. So because it is this sign that connects opposite and hypotenuse, we are going to make use of what sine to solve this. So we are going to write that sine theta, that is sine 25, is going to be equal to our opposite is A that we are looking for over our hypotenuse is what? 70. Now, if we cross multiply, you notice that your A is what? 70 sine 25. And this will give you 29.58 degrees. Sorry, meters. So this side is what? 29.58 meters. You can see how easy it is. As easy as A, B, C. So we are going to use the same idea to get the value of our B. Except that our B can be gotten if we are able to get AC. Notice that our B should be AC minus what? AD. Right? The whole of AC minus AD will give us our B. So how do we now solve it? We can actually solve it very easily. So we can get AC from this, tri from this triangle now. Our AC is the adjacent, right? This is the opposite, this is the hypotenuse. That means the remaining side is the adjacent. All right, if we can get AC, then we are going to subtract 30, this side, from the whole of this side, which is the AC, to get our B. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, because we are looking for adjacent, right? Because we are looking for adjacent, which is AC, we are going to connect it with the given side, which is our hypotenuse. Remember, the side we are looking for, which is the adjacent, we are going to connect it to the given side, which is the hypotenuse. So, excuse me, adjacent and hypotenuse is connected by cos, okay? So, it means that cos 25 is equal to, remember, ka, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent we are looking for over the side that is given. So our adjacent is AC, line AC, divided by our hypotenuse, which is 70. So this means that our AC is going to be equal to 70 cos what? 25. And this will give us 63.44, 63.44 in meters. So this means that from here to here is what? 63.44 meters. All right. Now, remember that we are not looking for AC. Rather, we are looking for DC. That is B. And our B is what? But B is equal to, B is equal to AC minus AD. AC minus AD. All right. Line AC minus line AD. Now, what did we get our AC as? We got AC as 29 point. Sorry. We got AC as 63.44. So it's going to be 63.44 minus our AD. Our AD is 30 meters minus 30. And when you do that, you are going to get what? 33.44 meters. It's going to be equal to B. Therefore, our A is equal to 29.58 meters. And our B is equal to 33.44 meters thank you so much for watching do have a lovely day and bye